Yo, yo. Yes, it is I, says me, and all who agree that we're more than three, and it's me, Bushwick Bill. Hey, check this out, though, right? There's a pimp civil war and a hustler civil war brewing right now, and rap genocide already took place when Tupac and Biggie died. So we got to keep hope alive, keep God first, and peep out these lyrics so that you can have a hunger and thirst for yo, to know how to welcome, keep life alive. Welcome, people. Welcome, boys and girls. Mr. Wolf Gang. Back on the set for another day. Yo, welcome to Where's Hip Hop? One on one. The hustle of the dish. Okay, boys and girls, this is the introduction to Where's Hip Hop? One on one, the hustle of the dish. Let me start off by officially introducing myself. I am Wallace Jr., that's government. Mr. Wolf Gang, that's spiritual, and I'm here to bring back the true hustle to hip hop. Now let me explain myself. You know, some people are like, yeah, yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Yo, this is what I mean. Alabama has so much talent. Alabama has so much to offer. But what Alabama is lacking is executive minds. And think of life coming together and binding to make it happen. Okay, example. If you got a thousand niggas between five uh, major cities in Alabama that's uh, recording and putting records out and they're high, why is nobody's making any fucking money? <laughs> Let me tell you why. Uh, oh, hold up, I do that. Let me explain the cup. Yes, yes, yes. I drink alcoholic beverages, but at times, water's in my cup. At times, coffee's in my cup. At times, I might have a little 7-Up and I ain't gonna tell you that. Okay, let's put the cup down. Let me explain the gloves. <laughs> you know what I had a lot of niggas check me about the gloves. Now, let me give you an uh, example of the gloves. The gloves solely represent, first of all, let me clear it up. First of all, I like the gloves. I like how they look, I like how they feel, they part of me, I like them. But the solely point of me wearing these gloves is because I ain't scared to be in the streets. So when I'm in the streets, germs and contaminations in the streets, and when you dab niggas down, don't let niggas touch you. That's like, Kinetic energy, negative, negative kinetic energy, and I learned that the hard way. So now, yeah, I might give you a gap, but I ain't taking your germs home to my old lady and my children, boys and girls. The gloves. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the fucking cops, fool. So now you know what the gloves are all about. Now I ain't no inspired boxer, but I might choke or slam you if it came down to it. But now back to the one on one with the hustle. Yo. It's like this, man. We got to learn that we are seriously entrepreneurs, though. You know what I'm talking about? If, you know, let me give you an example. If you go to the studio and you book time for a year, and you do your, cali- you do your calculations, and you just spend uh, around the numbers uh, 1500 on studio time, that's not considering your press up, it's not considering your mixes and your mastering. Uh, let me just tell my studios on that. Small number, 1500, yo. Cause Moon got it for the Lolo, you niggas know that. Yeah, but, bruh, you gotta get your money back. Why in the world would you pay for studio time? Even if you jacking sound clicking, getting beat for free. Why in the world would you pay for studio time and, and, and pay to get your stuff pressed up? That's even if you go to Walmart and do the shabby thing, man. Why would you pay for studio time and pay Uncle Sam his taxes out the deal and ride around and get a junk away? I mean, yo, it costs money to make this music, bruh. And if you truly believe in your music, man, it doesn't matter what you get for a dollar, a liquor, a quarter, a cigarette, a chicken wing in front of the club of a nigga play. Do that because I'm going to show you something. They'll respect you more if they buy you. Example. 
you giving your CD away and we together. And I said, him not. He gets both. You give him yours, he buys mine. He gets in the car, he drinks up. He like, yo, I'm buzzing. Let me see what these niggas do. I guarantee you that buddy gonna put my shit in your purse. You know why? He had to put him in his pocket and spend his hard earned money for him. You know, even if I give him a tax break, even if I send him for a dollar, he gonna go in his pocket and give me the money, then he gonna give me his college to my purse. And uh, long story short, let me get to, to the business. Long story short, the reality of behind that boys and girls is because he has common sense. Why don't you have common sense? If you spending money and you got faith in your product, yo, I mean, you mean to tell me <laughs> you you be late on your rent? I mean, you mean to tell me yo you go a couple days with no food to get a record out and soon the record come out? You so busy trying to be famous? You give it away? No! Now, let me explain why people think like this. The majors. Yes. They give it away. I'm talking about they give the t-shirts away, the CDs away, the free downloads. But guess what? Boys and girls, we have a budget set for this thing, man. Right? They're majors. We are indie. Independent, you don't know. But let me tell you what this is all about. Independently, for every dollar you spend, you need to learn how to make a quarter. Independent. This is to stay in the game, you know? But it's best if you spend a dollar and make a dollar. Now, if you can't spend a dollar and make a dollar, it's cool if you make a quarter. Stop giving your product away, man. You're not made. And the reason that the major industry labels give the product away because they setting up for the ringtones and the bust your head with the downloads and the record sale. That's why they give it away. Man. They're not giving it away. And another thing, before I sign off, all you guys who run into the radio station, man, trust me, I ain't beating you up, man. I'm just really talking right now because I want you to know some things. All you guys who cut a song, man, and you run into the radio station, I have no problem with that. You have to move. You play on the radio, people hear you, they like, they jam, they, yeah, yeah, they doing that. This is why they play music on the radio. Listen, it's not that you hear a song. If you play your music on the radio, have product. That's the whole reason they playing the music on the freaking radio. You understand? If you play, if you rushing and you beating people up to get your music on the radio, have product. So if the music, if, if you got a hit and it takes off, at least you can get some money. Wolfgang, signing off. Word to the wise. I'll tell you what. Where's hip hop? Hustle one on one. Drop shop action.